So, uh, as intimated before by my friend Brian, I'd like to play something new for you. On the drive, uh, on the drive yesterday from our warm-up show to Boston, I listened to both Dress and Dolls records from to back, and then like, I'd like a total tool, like was singing along in the song, you know, to the songs of my car, just like <laughs> thinking, who does that? I do that. Do you do that? I do that. Uh, um, but yeah, God, those fucking records are really good. <laughs> actually go back and listen to a record that you've made with any kind of objectivity and not just hear the mistakes that you remember or, or whatever, but I know it's very awful. <laughs> no, uh, I'm really, really proud of those two records that we made and we, Brian and I also spent, we, we cleaned out a bunch of basements and closets and stuff and we found like boxes and boxes and boxes of our very first CD that we made here in Brooklyn! Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but our very first CD that a lot of these songs are from, the, the Justin Doll CD was made in Gowanus at Martin B.C. Studio on 3rd Avenue and 3rd Street. We made many, many drives in our Volvo between Brooklyn and Boston. I think we drove like 23 times back and forth and we slept on couches and futons and floors to get that fucking record made. And we found like a thousand copies of the original pressing in boxes. And we're like, we will sell them to you. Yeah. Uh, so we, we signed like 2,000 records in there for sale at the merch desk. And if you're one of those anal collectors, you will notice that that record does not say Roadrunner on it. It says nothing. It's just the record that we, that we borrowed a bunch of money for and printed ourselves. Um, anyway, fast forward to now. Let's make some new music, Brian. Let's, shall we? This is a song I wrote for my dead best friend, Anthony. Not my son, Anthony, but they're kind of the same thing.
Yes, you. 